Hello, guys. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, someone. Good, good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Teacher, quería pedir un permiso si puedo entrar un momento solo como oyente para terminar unas cosas que estoy haciendo. Okay. Good. Yes. Of course. Okay, so let's wait for the rest of your classmates. How are you guys today? How are you? Fine? Okay, so what do you remember from previous class? What do you remember? What do you remember, guys? Activities. We were, uh huh. We were what? We were describing activities that you do at work, right? Yes. Yes. And what activities well yesterday we were talking about activities and when and you describe a classmate do you remember that that you were describing a classmate yes okay okay give me one second okay Okay, guys, so we're going to start for today's class and give me one second. We are describing activities, right? Okay. So this is what are we going to do? So, uh, Diego, can you help me with the class activity, with the class objective, please read it. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Class objective. Participants will will be able to describe activities they do at work. Exactly, thank you very much. So we have, uh, this is the agenda, this activities at work, video, simple, present and practicing, right? So yesterday, well, first we're going to play. Have you ever played Hangman, guys? Okay, so we have Hagman. Do you know what it is? No, no idea about Hagman? Okay, it's this one, pretty much. This is Hagman, okay? Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is give me letters. <laughs> Okay, we have one, two, three, four. Okay. Four letters, guys, four letters. Uh-huh, tell me a letter. <clears throat> a letter. Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey. Okay, hey. Nope. R. R. 
Okay. You say R, right? R, yeah. yes. E. E. Okay. No, it's a girl. Uh huh. W. Dog. Okay. Work Where teacher. Yes, it's work. <laughs> work. Right? Good job. One point. One point, teacher. One point. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Now, let's see another one. Let's see. The other letter is... The other, okay. Seven letters. Uh huh. Mm. Wait, wait. Mm. What did you say? E. 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 Mm, e, no. R. R. R, 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 nope. This time will be a boy. M. M or N? M. R or what? Wait. No. M. M as a mother? Or uh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Nope. Oh, a a teacher. A, a yes. Oh, no. D. D. Or B. D. Nope. B. Uh, no. W. W. No. Letter G. G. Uh, no. S. S. Yes. Mm -hmm. E. E. No, T. Ah, T, yes. T. Aha, aha. L. L, yes. Install. Yes. You almost died, guys. You almost, almost died. Let's see. Mm. Okay. Another one. The last one. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, seven letters, guys. Seven letters. The same, seven letters. A. Let, letter O. Okay, you say A. Yes. O. No. You. You know O T O no T no C C yes H H no Mm 
No, the last one, Roberto, was a, a, was a man. Fue un chico, un, it was a boy. <laughs> Ajá. Come on, guys. It's easy. Yes, sir. M. Nope. B. E. B. Ah, B. Yes. Ah. Uh -huh. E. Oh. Okay. Okay. E, yes. Replace, uh, please. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so now, guys. What point? One and then another point, right? So, um, this was what I want to Okay, yesterday we watched this video, right? So now we are going to, I'm going to talk, we, we are going to talk about simple present. We use, uh, this is simple present guys. Sim, not with the verb to be, right? It's different from the verb to be. Simple present. We use simple present to describe, to describe routines. To describe routines, we use it to describe facts or truth, right? And also we use it to describe habits, that it's the same as routines. Habits. Okay, habits or describe facts, truth or routine. So that is how we use the simple present, okay? For example, things that you do at work are things that you do every day. It's part of a routine, right? So what is the structure for this one? For this one, we, we have here auxiliaries. And um, if you want guys, just pay attention. Solo pongan atención. Les voy a escribir todo acá y les mando la captura de pantalla, okay? So auxiliary. The auxiliary are um, the auxiliaries in this one are do and does. Do and does. Okay. We are going to use do for I, you, they, and we. And we are going to use thus for she, he, and it. Okay? And and we are, if we want to say, do not, it's equal to say, don't. El do not es la forma contractada, el don't es la forma contractada del do not, right? And the does not is the, it's the, the doesn't is the contracted form para la negativa del do y el does. Sorry, del does, doesn't. Okay. 
Now, so what is the structure? This is the structure, guys. For the structure, we have a subject, the affirmative, right? Affirmative. We have subject, verb, and complement. For the negative, we have subject, auxiliary, plus not the verb and the complement. For the question, we have auxiliary, subject, verb, complement, and question mark. For example, for the affirmative, I, in my case, right? I teach I teach English. I is the subject, teach is the verb, and the complement is English, right? So I teach English. What is the negative for that one? Uh, what is the negative, guys? I do not. Uh-huh, uh-huh, give me one second. I teach Emerson you were saying I do not teach English exactly I do not is that is the negative right the auxiliary what is the auxiliary do because for I I'm going to use do Right? I do plus not, I do not, the verb teach and the complement English. Okay. That is the negative, right? I do not teach English or I don't, right? The contracted form is don't. I don't teach English. I do not. You can use both. Now, for the for the question, what is the auxiliary? Does. Mm, why does? Do. Do it. Okay. Si alguien le está preguntando, es, es a usted, you, right? What is the auxiliary for you? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar para you? Do you teach? Do, exactly, do. The subject is you teach Do you teach English? I teach English. I don't teach English. Porque usted no se puede preguntar, do I teach English? Si sí, ya sabe la respuesta, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces alguien más le está preguntando a usted. Ok. So, now, we have short 
and we have long answers. But la uh, for the uh, short answer, this is the short answer. The short answer, la respuesta corta va a ser el, un sí o un no. Siempre cuando responde la pregunta que va con un, un auxiliar, tiene que decirme si sí o no. Primero va sí, si es afirmativa, sí. El sujeto, I, porque me está preguntando, do you teach English? Yes, I. Y el auxiliar, yes, I do. Si es negativa, no. I don't. Si es negativa. Esta es respuesta corta. Short answers. Do you teach English? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Ok. Si es respuesta larga. Me va a poner igual si sí, sí y va a seguir la estructura de la afirmativa, ¿verdad? Toda. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Yes, pero siempre me tiene que decir si sí o no al principio. Yes, I teach English. Mm. No, I don't. Teach English. Ok. Preguntas hasta acá. Sean muy sinceros. Esto sí les tiene que quedar bien claro porque esto incluso a los de intermedio les cuesta a veces. Entonces es mejor que quede claro ahorita que después. Ajá. Quizás un poco, un poco más de ejemplos. Eh... Sí. Sí, ahorita lo vamos a practicar, pero ahorita nada más nos estamos enfocando en I, you, they, and we. La, ya el dos es otro, un poquito más complicado. Ok. ¿Preguntas con la estructura? Recuerden que el presente simple lo ocupamos para describir rutinas, hábitos, eh, hechos o verdades, algo que no podemos cambiar. Aquí ya no ocupamos el verbo to be. Aquí ya el verbo to be ya es tema pasado. Ajá. ¿No? No hay preguntas. Ok, les voy a mandar esto porque se borra cuando lo... Ok. Okay, here you are going to find some examples. We have affirmatives and negatives, okay? Um, Ronald, can you help me to read these two sentences, please? I count tons of the financial financial account. Financial account. Uh -huh. You count. You know. The, you know the policies, policies and regulations. Policies and regulations. Yes, Samuel. The last two for the affirmative. El, el siguiente sería we yes. advertise yes we advertise we advertise 
the company, the health companies aid again again financial loss yes okay uh, please enrique these two negative right uh. the first two two um I don't, I don't keep track of the financial account. Mm -hmm. You don't know the police and regulation, regulation. Mm -hmm. And regulations, yes. Uh, please, Luis, the last two. We don't. Mm -hmm. Adverti the company. Advertise the company. Advertise the company. Mm -hmm. They don't help company again. Final financial loss. Financial loss. Yes. Okay. Final this, loss. Yes. These are some examples, right? Now let's practice with this. What you need to do is pretty much organize the 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 sentence. Tienen que ordenar la oración. For example. What is the subject? Keep the company's track financial accounts of. What is the subject? Companies. They. Okay. What they or companies? They. They. Okay. They. they. Uh huh. They companies. They keep. Okay, they keep. Company. Track. They keep track. Of. of. <laughs> they keep track of. Financial accounts. Uh -huh. Or of, of financial accounts. Uh -huh. Of companies. Next one. Don't on either the company advertise we. We. Su subjects, we, uh-huh. Don't. Don't or do not, uh-huh. On internet. Mm, we don't. What is the verb? After the auxiliary, we need the verb. Advertise. Advertise. Uh -huh. on, inter on internet, the company. No, it's the other way. The company. Uh, on internet. Company on internet. Okay. Next one, number three. I every day oh. notes in the meeting take. I. I. The, the verb, take. uh huh. It's take, uh huh. Take what? Meeting. No. Mm -hmm. Notes. Tomar notas. Take notes, uh huh. Where? Every day. Every day. In the meeting every day. Yes. Every day, yes. Next one. At the reception, Carlos and Mauricio phone answer. Carlos and Mauricio. Carlos and Mauricio. Yes, are the subject. Carlos and Mauricio. At the reception. Mm, after the subject, we need the? Answer. Answer, the answer. verb, right? Answered. Phone. 
Okay, answer phone. The reception. At the reception. At the reception. Okay, so these are some of the structure. Now let's go with the next, next exercise. This one is an online practice. Give me one second. Give me one second, guys. This is. Okay, now what are we going to do is this exercise. Do you remember that yesterday I told you that you need to bring five activities that you do at work? Okay, yes. so you are going to write down five activities you do at work. For example, I, this is me, right? I. I make reports. I um, I check exams. I um, I prepare or I yes I plan classes. I teach English. I I send reports. Okay, so these are my five activities. Okay, so and the question is what do you do? at work. What do you do at work? Or you can ask what activities do you do at work? For example, Jose Salinas, ask me one of those questions. Uh, Esas dos questions? Yeah, pregúnteme uno de esas dos a mí. Okay. What do you do at work? I make reports, I check exams, I plan classes, I teach English, and I send reports. Okay? So that is what are you going to do. You are going to work in groups, and you are going to ask your classmate, what do you do at work? Or what activities do you do at work? And you are going to tell your classmate your, uh, your five activities, okay? Yes or no? Got it or no? <laughs> okay. Chico, lo veo traumados ahorita. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're going to work in, in groups. You're going to ask, what do you do at work? Or what activities do you do at work? And your answer will be the five activities, okay, that you have. And that's it, okay, eso es todo. Preguntas? No? Eso es solo speaking, verdad? Okay, let's make groups.
Ok. Bueno, bueno. Hello, hello. Subió la Hi. imagen. Ah, sí, sí, la subió. Hello. Eh, eh, I replacement will I I replace replace will I mm, inspections I Um, I remove and install a, a pamphlet. I remove THS actuator. Solo esa, bien. Prosigamos. Now you ask. Uh, what do you do at work, Alexander? Dual inspection. Mm -hmm. I... Surface sanding. First kid? Repito. Por favor. Surface sanding. Ah. Este sería mm, door cleaning. Door. Door cleaning. Cleaning. Mm -hmm. Indoor repair. Repair. Decorate, decorate the closet. This is just speaking, ¿ok? No escriban nada, solo es, 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 es hablado, nada más. Pregunta, respuesta. Ok. Cualquiera de los dos. Sí, sí. Um, ahí sería a ver um, I inspect eh, inspeccionar el área I inspect our area area work sería verdad work area work area what work Pardon, did you? Work, work area ok Thank you. Um, Manuel Pérez. Hola, hola. Uh, what activity do you do at work? I can components. I replace component. I replace fastener. 
aplique eh, paint o protective protective o cómo se dice protective protective algo así va Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, protective. protective. Apply, 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 protective. apply protective. Uh, I drew structure. Uh, panel. I am, no. Solo sería I. I. I start. Ajá. Uh -huh. Actor panel. Exactly. Follow the, the structure. Sigan la estructura. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I install components. Don't you finish? Don't okay. finish. Teacher. Okay, good. Let's go back. Okay, I will choose my big team, and my big team is Carlos Garcia. Carlos Garcia, what do you do at work? What do you do at work? I uh, receiving shift. Receive shift. Uh huh. Uh, I. Uh, dispatch aircraft. Okay. I uh, 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 the uh, give uh, activity. You you give activities. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Choose your victim. <laughs> Eh, José Salinas. Okay, Salinas, what activities do you do at work? Okay, es, I make continuity. Uh -huh. I check wiring. Uh -huh. And I send requests. Uh -huh. I filers, filer, file, filers. Uh -huh. Filers. But but in the verb, what is the verb? Filer? No. No. Porque ahí me está diciendo. Troubleshooting, vaya. Troubleshooting. Ah, okay. Perform troubleshooting. Troubleshooting. Perform troubleshooting. Es que lo de Filer lo había puesto así es verbo, ¿verdad? Eso es. Failures are es que como fracasos or something like es that. Es como. Okay. Fail. Fail is the verb, como fallar, fail. Okay. Mm -hmm. I plan words. Uh, ¿Se estaría bien? I. I plan plans. Mm -hmm. No sé si se pronuncia la M con I S plan. al final. Plan. No, I just plan. plan. Uh -huh. uh, words. Okay. You plan to work activities, right? Work activities. Thank work activities. you. Big team. Alexander Argueta. Okay, Alexander, what do you do at work? I install placards. Mm -hmm. uh, I clean a panel. Mm -hmm. I sanding a panel. I sand. I, mm -hmm. Yo sand. I, no, sanding. Ah, Ajá, ah. pero sanding tiene la ING ah. y el, necesitamos el verbo en su forma base, sand. Ah. Uh -huh. En sand. At panel, I apply paint. Apply paint. Uh -huh. Apply paint. Apply paint. Good job. Uh, victim? Your victim Cruz. Cruz, okay. Cruz, what do you do at work, Cruz? I install a soft panel. Uh -huh. I clean in company. Uh -huh. I operational test. You do, do operational test. 
I do operational tests. Yes. I replace components. Components. Uh -huh. components. I fueling and the fueling. Okay, you fuel, the fuel and refuel. That yes, one? Fuel. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Thank you. Your victim? Uh, okay, Diego, what activities do you do at work? Uh, I remove bamblades. Mm -hmm. I remove a panel. Uh, I remove and install a box. And I remove and restart jumpers. Okay, good, good. Your victim? Mm. Eduardo, Eduardo Perez. Okay, Eduardo Perez. Go ahead, Eduardo. What activities do you do at work? Uh, I am the inspection. Okay, no, I am no. No, no I am the inspection. Okay, what is the verb? Uh, inspection. Ah, I inspect. Uh -huh. I inspect. Uh -huh. uh, I uh, remove rivet. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, car, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Cómo? May. Fabricación. Repeat, repita. Fabricación. Reubicación. Fabricación. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Y uh, el qué? What, what, what do you make? El qué? Fabricar el qué? Piezas. Ah, okay. So you say, uh, I think it's. Let me see. Piezas. So, yeah. Mm. Fabricar. Let me check. Let, let me check. Let me check. I'm going to check it here. It's. Um, you can say make or produce. Produce parts or make parts? Mm -hmm. Acá se lo voy a escribir. Vaya. Make or eh, produce? Ah, make or produce. Parts. Okay. okay, good. So, okay. Now, I'm going to, okay guys, the activity that we just done, we are going to go here in a Schoology week one, folder homework and assignments. You are going to find this, va a encontrar este, eh, este foro. Aquí les estoy preguntando, what do you do at work? Prácticamente me van a escribir las cinco actividades que me estaban diciendo. Vienen acá y lo escriben. I, I teach English. I read emails. ¿Verdad? Aquí sus cinco actividades me las va a escribir. Y de ahí solo le dan post y ya está. De hecho, si las escribimos así como la vez pasada, solo le podemos tomar foto y mandar. Eh, o sí. tenemos que escrito. Las prefiero escritas, sí, las prefiero escritas acá, pero también puede dar la opción de poder este, mandar la captura. Ah, que como usted dijo que les escribiéramos de ayer para ahora, 
Entonces ajá. ya está en el cuaderno. Ajá, pero tiene que decir hay. Ajá, ajá. Que tiene el que ser la estructura. El, ajá, el, el sujeto, verbo, complemento. Sí. Ok. Ok, clear. Teacher, y tiene que ir un negativo. No. No. It's just affirmative. Look. Ok. You go to semana uno. Home, se van para el folder, el folder morado, homework and assignments. Y aquí está. What do you do at work? Le dan clic y les aparece así como que van a comentar algo en Facebook. And you type. Y escriben. Ok. Now, let's continue. Ok. So, this is another exercise. This exercise, we have verbs. Tenemos verbos. ¿verdad? What are the verbs? Read, work, go, play, have, watch, do, eat, drink, speak, live, and listen to. Right? What you need to do is to look for the complement of the verb. Tienen que buscar el complemento del verbo. For example, read. Do we read Japanese food? No, right? Do we read a cat? No. Do we read the radio? No. Do we read karate? karate? No. Nope. Do we read Mandarin? Could be, but no. Nope. That's a language. Do we read the guitar? No. Nope. Do we read a big house in a big house? No. Nope. Do we read fashion magazines, English book, and newspaper? Yeah, right? Yes. So you go here and you write one. You say, I, you say, read fashion magazine, read, in, uh, read English books, read a newspaper. Okay, now number two, work. You work Japanese food? What is L, teacher? L, okay, thank you, yes. Yes, that's true. You work in a lot, in for a large company, work in an office, work in the evening and work hard, right? So this is what are you going to do? You are going to work in groups and you are going to complete this. You are going to match the verbs with the Phrases, okay, or the complement. Let's do this. We're going to do it in groups. So, chicos, si no entienden, yo díganmelo. Yo aquí estoy para ayudarles, no para complicarlos. <laughs> Dígame, sean honestos. Let's make groups.
No, no. Eh. Bien, bien, sí. Ah, en la, en la ocho. Uh, Japanese. Yo no la veo. No la veo. Uh, no. Japanese food. No. Uh, sería H. H. Japanese food. Minus food. Uh -huh. uh, la A. Sería la 8. La, la A sería el H. 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 Uh -huh. H. La B. La B. Acá. La B. Two children. Uh, English uh, newspaper every day. El periódico todos los días. Esa sería la primera. Sí, fue el ejemplo que ella dio. O sea, vas a tomar el verbo que tenga que ver con las otras, con los otros complementos que tenés acá. Por lo menos la primera yo creo que sería it. Sí, sería it porque habla de comida japonesa, vietnamita. ¿Cuál? Pizza y todo eso. Ajá, la primera sería it. Eight. Ah, eight. Eight es comer comida japonesa, comida vietnamita, jumpy, ajá, put. Sería el number eight. Ya me decía, puedo escribir. Ajá, ahí. Vaya. La dos, no me acuerdo, creo que iba en la... Dale. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? Three. With I. Este la la number three. Go to the gym, go to the park, go to the beach. Mm -hmm. La tres, la cuatro sería en la F. La four en la F. Play to the guitar, play foot, yes. Uh... Uh, hola, hola. La Finish ya. Yeah. You finish? Sí. Okay, let's wait for your classmates, okay? Vamos a esperar a sus compañeros, creo que algunos no han terminado. La, la, once sería no, la sería golfo. La once sería la golfo en the house. Lid. La once, live. Ajá. Ajá. La Ajá, live in the house. The house. Vaya. Ajá. Y, la... y la I solo sería la. Es que solo eh, welcome es bien. Solo welcome es bienvenido. Pregúntame sí. en la sí. teacher, ahí está. O lo googleamos. <risa> tell me, tell me. Teacher, eh, para decir de nada, you're welcome. Es que algunos traductores no lo ponen. Yes, it's you're welcome. Okay. The finish, teacher. Okay, let's wait for your classmates, okay? Okay. Okay. Ayan. Sí, son mía. Ay, qué feo, vamos a leer este número. Vaya, eh, me da. Espera, ¿qué se puede hacer? La nueve en la J. Ajá. Ajá. Nueve en la J. Bueno, más o menos ahí. La ahí diez, está. ponerle la eco. La diez en la eco. Digo, no sé. Uy, tengo sí. sí, la diez en la eco. Sí.
la 11. Eh, ver. En la no sé. en, 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 en la Golfo. Ajá. ¿Cuál, cuál? ¿Cuál la 11 en la Golfo? En la Golfo. La 11 en la Golfo. Sí. Ajá. Vaya. La 12. Había una corrección sí, sí, sí. ahí. No, 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 solo. Ah, ok. ¿Cuál es la G? Es 11. You don't have 11. Thank you. Okay, let's check. Number one, read. We said that is read. Read what, Jose Salinas? Read. Can you tell me the the the, the phrases? L. Number one. It's what? H, right? Read it. Lealo. Read fashion magazines. Así. H sería teacher. Ya lo veo. Lea. H sería number one. Ajá. Solo ahora lea. Read fashion magazine. Read English book. Read fashion magazine. English book. Uh, a new paper every day. News, newspaper every day. Uh -huh. So this is number one, right? That means that is read. Okay. Uh, number two, guys, work. Uh, Alexander, what is number two? Letter L. L, uh huh. Could you read it, Nicolas? Uh, work for a large company in an office in the evening. Hard. Hard. Thank you very much. For go, guys, what do you have for go? Go, Luis? What do you have for go, Luis? Yeah, yeah. play. No, go, number three. Uh, number three. Yeah. I said, yeah. Okay, okay. It's I. Okay. Who say I? ¿Quién lo dijo? ¿Quién dijo la respuesta? Alexander. Yo, Alexander. Okay, Alexander, read it. Go cycling. Go cycling to the gym, to the park, to the beach. To the beach. Thank you. Enrique, play. Eh, sería F. Uh -huh. Read it, please. Uh, sería play the guitar, football, cards, tennis, the drums. Exactly. Play the guitar. Play the guitar no es jugar. Eh, en ese caso, play es tocar. Tocar la guitarra, tocar la, la, los drums, ¿verdad? Good. Thank you, Enrique. Let's listen to Samuel. Number one. 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 Number one.
We have have. Have que sería no. be. Uh -huh. Read it. Beer. Okay. Have a cat, children, a big family. Okay, yes. Good. Uh, let me listen to uh, uh, Benitez. Mm. We have a watch. Watch what? Watch. Um, uh, watch uh, horror films. Mm -hmm. uh, watch a sport. Programs. Programs. Watch YouTube, watch news. Watch news, yes. What do you have for do, Silvia? What do you have for do, Silvia? Mm -hmm. Any help for Silvia? Beef. What? Beef. D. D. Okay. Karate, okay. the post uh, war, the home war. Exactly. Do karate, karate, do the housework, do my homework at night, do yoga. Yes. Emerson, please eat. It is uh, eight. Mm -hmm. Eat Japanese food, eat Vietnam food, eat junk food, eat pizza. Okay, thank you. Lillian, what do you have for the uh, nine drink? Um, eh, la, ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, se me ha olvidado la J. Bueno, la J es. Jay, ok, Jay. Okay. Jay. Jay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. eh, drink the, the, the eh, tea, coffee, beer, y orange. Use. Use. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Ronald, can speak. Ronald. Uh -huh. e. e, sería e. speak uh, Mandarin. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. uh, speak English, uh, speak Spanish, and uh, speak Thai. Thai. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Dennis, leave. Como, como, como? Leave, 11. 11. Mm -hmm. And la uh, G. G. Uh -huh. Read it, please. We become uh, home in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Live in a big in a big house. In Read a small it. apartment in the city center. Yes. Listen to and the last one, please, please. Can you help me? Nicolas, help me. 
Twelve is listen to. Uh -huh. Listen to radio. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Continue. Listen to the radio. Hip hop music, classic music, pop music. In classical music and pop music. Okay. So I'm going to send that image with the correct answer, guys, to the wall. So as you can see, those are some of the complements that you use with those verbs. Now, what are we going to do before we go? Mm -hmm. You are going to create, you are going to create five questions using do you. Do you, do you, do you. Five questions, guys. Using do you, do you, do you, right? For example, you're going to use the vocabulary. Van a ocupar el, el vocabulario que acaban de aprender, lo van a poner acá. For example, do you, do you, let me check the. Do you play the guitar? Okay, do you play the guitar? Excellent. Do you play the, the guitar? The answer is yes, I do. Long sentence. I want long full. I want long answers. For example, do you do you drink tea? Do you do you listen to music? Listen, listen to. Let's change it, let's, no, no, pop music. Okay, you are going to create five questions, five questions using do you. Guys, what is the answer for, do you play the guitar? If it is, if it is affirmative, si es afirmativa, como sería la respuesta? Do you play the guitar? Yes? Yes, I play guitar. I play the guitar. The guitar. If it is negative, no, I don't. I don't play the guitar. Okay, so your you your turn. Create. Five questions using do you. Five questions using do you. Teacher. Yes. Ahí tengo una duda. Cuando, bueno, por ejemplo, ahí estamos ocupando el do you y después que ocupamos el das, sería ah. como que nos estén preguntando a nosotros. Y la respuesta que está escribiendo en Celeste es que nosotros estamos respondiendo. Ajá. Solo que ah, el das, el das aquí no lo ocupamos, ahorita no, porque eso es otra ah, cosa. Ahorita estamos ocupando el do, que se ocupa con you, I, we, and they, ¿verdad? Si yo le pregunto uh -huh. a usted, do you play the guitar? Samuel, do you es play the que, guitar? Como que si yo toca, me está preguntando que si yo toca la guitarra. Exactly. Do you play the ah, guitar? Okay, okay. ¿Cuál es la, la respuesta suya? No, I don't play the guitar. Exactly. For okay, example, okay. si yo le pregunto a Eduardo, Eduardo, do you drink tea? Mm, no, I don't. Uh, si, uh, no. Mm -hmm. I don't drink. Deep. Drink. Okay. Tea. Recuerden, la misma, la misma pregunta le da el verbo y le da el complemento. Ustedes solo tienen que decir sí o no. Ajá. So, Eduardo, do you drink tea? No, do you drink tea? No, ¿por qué no? What is the subject? La estructura, se llama la estructura. No, no 
I am. Me va a dar un ataque ahorita. No, verbo to be ya no aquí. Recuerden, olviden, olviden el verbo to be. Oh, yeah. I, I am. No, 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 no. Vaya, siga esta estructura, Eduardo. Siga sujeto porque es negativa, ¿verdad? No, sujeto. Auxiliar. No, I don't. Ajá. Sigue esa estructura. No. I don't what? What is the verb? Eh, sí. No, I don't. Mean. Yeah. Exactly. No, I don't drink tea. Recuerden seguir la estructura. La estructura ya está. Eso es súper fácil. A ver, ahora vamos a ver a alguien más. Eh, Diego, do you listen to pop music? Yes, I listen to pop music. Exactly, right? Subject, I. A verb, listen to. And the complement, no. pop music. Esta pregunta, la misma pregunta le dan el verbo y el complemento. Ustedes solo van a decir si sí o no. Si es no, obviamente van a ocupar el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Con el not. Emerson, do you, do you read fashion magazines? No, I don't read fashion magazines. Exactly. Silvia, do you do you do your homework? Do you do your homework? No, I don't. And no, I don't what? <laughs> what do you what? No, okay. Oh. okay. Do the, the question is do you oh, you do your homework. Do you do your homework? No, I don't your homework. Oh, I don't. ¿Y cuál es el verbo? Your es el verbo, no, ese es el subject pronoun. Do. Exacto. Exacto. Entonces es no, I don't. Do you your homework. Mi tarea. No hace mi tarea. O la suya. ¿Cuál sería acá? My homework. My homework. Qué chido que, que chido que hiciera mis tareas. <ríe> ok, it's my homework. I don't do my homework. I, aquí el do, hay dos do. El do primero es el auxiliar y el segundo ya actúa como verbo. Ok. Questions? Preguntas? No. Nada más que practicar bastante. Sí, we have to. But tomorrow, para mañana, hagan las preguntas y vamos a practicar respuestas, ¿ok? Hagan las cinco preguntas usando do you con el vocabulario que les acabo de dar. Teacher, ¿Sí? la tarea de Schoology, ¿para cuándo más o menos es? Para mañana. Ok. Sí, ya, ya la tienen hecha. Solo es copy y paste. Screenshot. Bueno, digo yo que ya la tienen hecha. Ok, vamos a ver. Ok, vamos a pasar a asistencia. Ok. Les voy a mandar unos ejercicios para que lo puedan practicar y unos videos. Pero practíquenlo, ¿verdad? Porque si no, nos vamos a tomar mucho tiempo en este tema. José Aguilar, Present. Naun, pues obedecer, Alexander, Eduardo, Present. Manuel, Carlos Benítez, Present. Lilian, Raúl, Roberto, Present. Present. Cruz, 
Enrique. Present. Luis. Present. Silvia. Present. Denis. Manuel. Present. Present. Marco. Ronald. Present. Present. Diego. Present. Present. Emerson and Jose Salinas. Present. Okay. So have a nice day, guys, and see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye. See you. Bye bye.